Ready, Mia? Here we go. Let me see you. Why is that light on there? I'm not wearing my gloves tonight because I'm blaming them for my mishap the other night. Although it wasn't them really. I discovered what it was. Oh, I'm just car in my way now so I can't see out there. Slow business when you're going slow. When you get a bit of move on, it's a lot better. He says, hopefully. I'd like to thank you all for your um, advice concerning side cars and everything, but uh, I have to say we we are using the side car book by the uh, very experienced sidecar man, uh, Rod Young I think his name is so I'm going to let this car behind me go go too fast because I'm uh, if I lose control well I'm trying to hold on not too tightly whoa here comes a bloody big lorry uh, the lorry's come up here okay, but at least I now know that I can avoid them another little lesson learned I put a mirror on the sidecar so I can see see how far I am when I'm parking next to a curb or anything yeah so we're following um, the sidecar guide instructions to get it all set up properly and we're almost there, you know. It's just little tweaks and uh, I'm going back into the workshop on Monday to see if we can do some more adjustments. I mean, it's going to take a while to get it to the way I feel comfortable with. Um, I'm holding quite tightly at times when I have to slow down but at the moment I'm not well actually I am at having to push away it still wants to go very much towards the sidecar Yeah, seem to be enjoying it so far so good uh, the road narrow is just here yeah it is it is I can feel it on my arms it is hard work 
No good me denying it. But it's all to do with towing and leading and God knows what in. Very lucky, I've got quiet roads around here that I can practice on. But this is not really practice because I know it's got to be redone. This is for Mia to get her used to it. Oh, I must remember to use my back brake more. Yeah, what happened the other night when I was coming out of the co-op and it took off is that I was pushing with my left arm, pushing the handlebar and of course that made my grip on the throttle on the throttle grip increase so it was uh, it was me forgetting to let go of the throttle All right there, Mia. A very good girl. Very good dog. Those people are happy to see you, Mia. to the legal speed limit but I am fighting against it pulling in to the curb but it's definitely easier when you go a bit faster because when you're going faster if something does happen you've got to counteract it haven't you cushions in from here as well <laughs> I've got to, when I've taken that right that left what was that a right hand I was pushing pushing with my left arm which is not my strongest arm if I keep on doing little runs I'll get stronger won't I Break a back brake, go down a gear to go round here. I know I'm being a bit wimpish, but I'm perhaps I'm just a wimp. I'm not a very strong wimp. Of course, it's easier going round the left hand turn. Yeah, so well, I think I've said it, uh, but thank you for all your uh, advice and everything. But we are following the sidecar book. That's highly recommended by a very experienced man. against it this is a ca bit more camber on this road that's another thing the old canvas
good. I might need a push. Wait there, Mia. I might need a little push backwards, please. Just to park. Just to practice run. It's bloody hard work. That should do it. Yeah. Thank you very much. And what That's you have fine. to do is, because you've got no brakes, so you have to put it in gear. Oh. And that should be all right. Thanks very much. That's all right. Full point start. It's a Harley Road King police model. And it's 1400 cc. Nice. Did you build that yourself or did it come like that? No, I, that's an old sidecar that I bought and restored. Yeah. And uh, that's an old chassis. 1960s. Yeah. It's all old fitting, so I'm just checking it out. I just, I want you to take my dog with me. Yeah. So we can go camping. Look, I mean, look inside, I'm sleeping there. Yeah. Some very pleasant young people. A pleasant young man just starting his motorcycling career. Oi, don't you dare touch that butter. Right, we've got to get do this right turn again where I came nearly came a cropper the other night. You've got to be brave. really slowly today. much easier going straight and a, you know a bit of with a bit of speed completely different ride really I mean I know it, the camber does affect it as well but that bit there was really nice I'm sure it's just a little tiny bit of adjustment 
for that that pulling towards the curb business. I mean, I can cope with everything else on it. Well, I can cope with that actually, can't I? But, uh, it's hard work. It's a good job I've got the body of a young weightlifter, bodybuilder, athlete. <laughs> I am struggling, but I am smiling still. Uh oh, there comes a big lorry. I don't. Thank you. on the bumpy ground. I fight all the time on this bit. Well we've made it, we've got some shopping. We've made it, Mia. That was good fun, wasn't it? And those young people made a fuss of you, didn't they? I think people like seeing you there. I think you're going to be a, a star. I'm going to make you a star. <sighs> Thanks for looking in everyone, uh, see you again soon. I'm sure we're going to get to grips with this and uh, I'll get more and more confident. I even felt more confident just now to be honest, even though I was going just at the speed limit. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. Thanks for looking in, take care, bye. Mia, say goodbye.